Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to uh, as x tends to infinity. So here, L'Hopital's rule breaks down. So you can't simply differentiate this. You can't simply differentiate the bottom. You've got to do something cunning to work out the limit of this, or or somehow put up a good argument as to why it heads towards whatever limit it heads towards. Okay, so so don't rely on L'Hopital's rule here. You, you can try it, but don't, I wouldn't rely on it. So press pause and have a go. Okay, let's just say the whole limit here is y. So, uh, so let's say the whole limit here is y. So now take the natural log of both sides. So log this, log this. So, uh, so that will then take you to here. And then, uh, and then uh, remember, natural log of a over b is the same as uh, log of a take away log of b. So, so we're saying log of a take away log of b take away log of b here. So, uh, so uh, this thing here, you can imagine this as uh, well. It goes down here, and then you have this, uh, and then this block here is the is the number one. So, so you're left with x squared here, and then uh, and then here, you, you, you remember natural log of a b is the same as uh, not na natural log of a plus natural log of b. So it's really u. This is a here. And this is B here. So uh, so now now this thing here, this thing here is just x because x goes down and then you've got x natural log. Of, so this thing here is the number one here. So this thing is x here. And uh, and then now now when when you're at this stage, exponentiate equally to both sides. So e and then uh, and then e on this side. These two, in a way, cancel each other out, leaving you with y. So the limit is really this thing here. So it boils down to to you asking yourself: as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, what what will this thing be? Um, so so it's, so so the limit is this thing here. But in your mind, visualize this. The how at the moment the limit. This is our limit here. At the moment, the limit is this thing here. So, so you've got to ask yourself, as x tends to infinity, what does this tend towards? So, so now imagine this, imagine this as this. So, so in your mind now, imagine this. So, so you're trying to find, uh, you're trying to find this thing here as x gets bigger and bigger. So, uh, so the, the question is, where, where will this bubble, what will this bubble become as x gets bigger and bigger? So, uh, so one way of doing this is to look at the gradient, is to look at the derivative. So let's differentiate it. So if you if you differentiate this, it will then give you this. Let's let's look at the gradient. So we we ultimately want to know what happens to this as x gets bigger and bigger. Does it go up? Does it go? Does it head towards some sort of limit? Does it go down or what? So the way we would do that is to look at the gradient. Let's let's look at the derivative. So differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. Differentiate this. That will then give you this. So we are now looking at the gradient of this thing here. Well, the gradient of this thing here, if you um, this then becomes this, this then becomes this. So if you look at the gradient, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this whole thing here, well, this is going to be negligible, negligible. So as as x gets bigger and bigger, we can just consider this bit here. So it's like this. And then, uh, and then as x gets bigger and bigger, this thing is just this. So as, so you can see here, uh, as x gets bigger and bigger and bigger, the gradient, the gradient will, will keep on rising, will get bigger and bigger and bigger. You're not going to have a, 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 a negative gradient. Well, here, if, if, if you know that the gradient here, if you know the gradient of th this thing is always rising, then you know this thing is always growing. You know that this thing is always growing because the uh, the derivative is um, is is always positive as x gets bigger and bigger. So you know you know this thing is uh, this thing is going to keep on growing. But here you've got a, a scenario here where it keeps on growing. But the thing is, you it, you could start in the, in the negative round and it could keep on growing, but never crosses over here. It could keep on growing. Uh, it, it, at the moment, you know that this this whole bubble here is always going to grow, so you know it's always going to be climbing. Well, it, you could have a scenario here where it's always climbing, it's always climbing, it's always climbing, but never crosses in into the uh, 
into the positive realm. So let's let's we now know it's climbing, but let's let's select one point that just to make sure it's above zero. So let's put um, because if if we can get one point to be above zero, then then when we know it's always climbing, then then we know it's heading. Well, we know it's going to head towards infinity. If if, if this point here is in a negative realm, we can't really be sure because this is always climbing here. It's always climbing. It's always climbing. It's always climbing. It's always climbing. So yes, we do know we do know that this thing is always climbing. But let's just make sure we start in the positive realm, so we know it's always climbing. So because uh, because here it's climbing, but you you can never be sure that it, it will cross into the positive realm. So 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 yes, we do know it's always climbing, but make sure our starting point is in the in the positive hand side, so we know it's climbing it, it, into infinity, towards infinity. So we know this thing is going to be climbing. So let's just select a random point. Let's say when x equals one. So when x equals one, this thing here is going to be um, it's going to be one. This thing here is going to be uh, zero. This thing here is going to be one. Uh, well, negative one here. So this thing here. So so you see, e to the power of zero is one. So we know that our starting point is going to be uh, above. Above the x-axis. Now we know that this bubble here is always going to be climbing. So, uh, so if, if the bubble is climbing, then the whole thing is climbing. So we know that this thing here is heading towards infinity. So our limit is actually heading towards infinity. Okay.